You may have known that Charlie Brown Christmas is the first animated peanut special. And in my opinion, the absolute best. But here are some cool facts that you may not have known about this Charlie Brown Christmas special. Charlie Brown Christmas broke many of the rules prevalent for animated holiday specials during the 1960s, it didn't make use of a laugh track, real children were used for the character voices instead of adult actors imitating children's voices, and biblical references were used to illustrate the true meaning of Christmas. Did you know none of the children who voiced the characters received credit at the end? I don't think that's fair, but at least they got paid. Did you know Kathy Steinberg, who did the voice of Sally Brown, had not yet learned to read at the time of production, so she had to be fed her lines, often a word or syllable at a time, which explains the rather choppy delivery of the line, all I want is what I have coming to me. All I want is my fair share. All I want is what I ha have coming to me. All I want is my fair share. When viewing the rough cut of the show, both Bill Melendez and Lee Mendelssohn were convinced that they had a flop on their hands. After it premiered, they were happily surprised and shocked at the high ratings and excellent reviews that the show received. Today, the show remains the second longest-running Christmas special on U.S. network television, the 1964 Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, 1964, premiered one year earlier and is still broadcast every year on U.S. network television. She said I cute! Just before her remarks about Christmas being a big commercial racket, Lucy refers to Charlie Brown simply as Charlie. This is the only time she does this in any of the TV specials, every other time it's Charlie Brown. When they first saw the show, CBS executives were horrified at the idea of an animated Christmas special with such a blatant message. They also strongly objected to the fact that the show had no canned laughter. In addition, they greeted Vince Guaraldi's jazz score as an intrusion in the special that audiences would never accept. However, when CBS learned to their astonishment of the special's spectacular ratings earned on its initial broadcast and the glowing reviews for it, the network promptly contracted the producers for more specials. Did you know a version with a laugh track was produced but later discarded after the success of the broadcast version? The original broadcast included some brief animated sections which included the logo of Coca-Cola, the show's original sponsor. These have been edited out of subsequent broadcasts and the video release. Right after the opening title, Linus crashed into a sign advertising Coca-Cola after being tossed by Snoopy. Look at current versions and you'll notice that we never see where Linus lands. The closing carol originally included the complete verse, instead of fading out, with a final on-screen Merry Christmas from your local bottler of Coca-Cola right after the United Feature Syndicate credit at the end. Did you know Snoopy's doghouse is blue in this special? In subsequent specials it is red. Maybe he got tired of the color. Production for the Charlie Brown Christmas ended 10 days before it premiered. That's amazingly fast. So what did you think of this video? It's fun. Did you know any of these cool facts? Let us know in the comments section below what you would like to see next. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Movie Mistakes and we'll see you next time.